sickness. He's God tomorrow. He's God. All we need in the church right now is the manifestation of the sons of God. Praise the name of the Lord. We're going to pause right there because the Spirit of God hit somebody in here when I said that. And I believe they had a word from God to echo what I said. Praise the name of the Lord. I said all we need to do is let God be God in the church right now. Let God manifest. We need the manifestation of the sons of God. We need the sons of God to manifest. Manifest how, Brother Marlowe? Don't let Jesus come all over you. Let Jesus take control of your words, your mouth, your mind, your eyes. Praise our God. Get some power in your life. Raise up and glorify God. Give him glory for what he's done. Praise his name and love him tonight. Manifestation. The sons of God. Who was that? Got that echoing word a moment ago. Praise God. Somebody did. Heal to God and, and say it. And whatever it was, the Lord touched you with a moment I said that the manifestation of the sons of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Have given my word tonight. Thank you, Jesus. I'm giving my word tonight. Amen. And the church must take this night and see the manifestation of me. Me. Yes, me. I said me. Amen. High and holy one. Saith the Lord. Me. Now, manifestation. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Rock and fortress. The enemy can't get into a fortress. If your house tonight is a fortress, there's no God, there's nobody gonna push you over uh, like a mushroom on the ground. Praise our God. If your house is a fortress, it's impregnable. God will not let the enemy get through. The only way the enemy can get through is for you to replace the mind of Christ in your mind. And you begin to manifest your mind above the mind of Christ. You tear the fortress down there. Your house is not a fortress. But David returned from his sin. And David returned in repentance and prayer. And David touched God. And he said, the Lord will save me. He is my strength. He is my uh, rock. He is my fortress. Hallelujah. And my deliverer. In whom I will trust. I'm feeling this all over right now. My buckler and the horn. A horn. For a horn does it pours out sound. A horn of oil pours out oil. Praise our God. And this is the horn of my salvation tonight. I feel joy pouring out of my horn. I feel deliverance pouring out of my horn. I feel joy pouring out. My salvation yes. and my high tower. High tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous running Tell it. They blew the horn. They blew the horn. Amen. And they came out of the 
the battlefields, and into the battlefields. They blew the horn. Where is Judah tonight in the church? Right. Judah. Lord. Judah, the praise warrior. Yes. Judah, Amen. the praise shout. Judah, the runner of the victory. Where's the banners? Where's the flags? He's my horn. Praise God. Praise God, praise God. I will use verse 3. I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will call upon the Lord, rather, who is worthy to be praised. I said he's worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. Now, David interrupts himself. But I'm not going to be lengthy here, but I want you to see what he did. He was giving all his accolades to God. He was safe with God. He was triumphant in God. And then verse 4 said, Suddenly the sorrows of death, hell rather, have passed me about. The snares of death prevented me. So David brings back in the negative for a moment. And for a moment, the negative will slip in slip to a church in, in the midst of praise. Yes, that's right. For a moment, the negative will enter into your life, and something will work on you enough that you'll become pessimistic rather than optimistic. You'll be sad rather than joyful. You'll be unhappy rather than happy. Because the negative is always seeking to get in past the fortress and get in past the rock. And David said, the sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid, verse 4. The sorrows of hell, verse 5, compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. But in verse 6, he jumps right back in to victory. In verse 6, he comes right back in the victory. I was watching the service tonight. I was looking at the crowd, I was hearing you, and I was looking at your faces, and I was looking at the worshipers. I'm looking at people who have been with me 18, 20 years, 25 years. I'm looking at people that should be at the top of their uh, boxing skill with the devil right now. You've been in the ring long enough. You've been trained long enough. I was looking at the church around me that should be right now at the top of our game. Yes. We've had the Holy Ghost for years. Yes. We've been preached to you by the hour. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Come on. Are you going where I'm going right now? Yes. We occupy these leather feet. Yes. We occupy these padded pews. We represent the church on 7th Avenue. Yes. Our friends come to see us. And I hope they'll be a part of us. Because I want to tell you this right now. It is not time for you to let verse 4 uh, and, and 5 enter in. Let's don't slip back into the negative. Let's stand on Mount Zion and say we are the triumphant. We are the victors and not the victims. We are those that have challenged sin and no sin is defeated at the cross. 2,000 years ago, when Jesus, the Son of God, said it is finished. It was finished. My victory was finished. My joy was finished. My peace was finished. My peace, my joy, my healing. Five years ago, you know my story. A doctor said, you have prostate cancer. He said, we need to immediately operate. Do something. He gave me some pamphlets. Study which one? These eight ways you want to be treated. But my daughter, who is a believer, and my wife, who is a believer, counseled me and are counseled together. And we decided we would not do any of that. But we would stand on the faith Amen. that I preach. Amen. We would stand on the rock that I represent. Praise our God, the rock that healed my daughter. I'm going to stand on it for my great-grandson. He is the rock of ages. He wasn't just David's rock. He's my rock. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. He wasn't just Samuel's 
Moses' rock. He wasn't just Moses' rock. He is my rock. He's the rock that walks you through. Hey, praise God. Amen. Thank you over there. Bless the name of the Lord. I appreciate the stands out there. Because let me tell you something. There is a joy in this church tonight. the rock of yesterday. Yes. He's the rock of now. Yes. He's the rock yes. that saved your sight. That's right. That is saving your sight. That's right. That's right. Though so you still have to bear with it some, That's right. you are delivered in the That's name right. of Jesus. Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. Yes. He's delivered yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes. Praise the Lord. him yesterday and leave him out now. That's right. All the church needs is to get rid of verse 4 and 5 as David did. That's right. Suddenly the old flesh rose up. David's condemnation and David's sin and he said the sorrows of death compassed me and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. That's right. Oh, thank you for victory, Lord. Oh, Lord. Yes, Praise yes, the Lord. Yes. Thank you for the line of the tribe that you have. There we Amen. go. Come on now. Thank you for the yes. rose of Sharon. Preach that. Yes. Come on. Thank you for the lily of the valley. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. Thank you for the bright and morning Come on, star. come on. Come on. Yes. Praise our yes. God. Yes. You cuddle that weakness in your life the rest of your life. You go back to that stinking, dirty head, sin habit, and you don't have to. But you won't get on the rock, will you? Come on. You won't get off that sinking right. sand. Come on, Pastor. Preach you won't it. get rid of that trap. Preach that now. Come on. You won't get rid of that stuff Come on. that brings the sorrows of death and hell. Come on. And David did. Oh, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm shouting at you. I can, oh, yes, I can't talk to me, but I'm, I'm just having a difficult time holding this. I really want to stand loose and dance down that aisle right now. Praise no. our God. Come on. Amen. 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 I'd like to walk these pews tonight. And, and I praise the name of the Lord. Somebody said, oh, my God, Brother Bardo, walk the church pews. Well, listen, if Nick Walinda can walk a tight bar, I can walk the pews. Yes, yes. Amen. Amen. Praise our God. We're not on the sinking sand tonight. No. We're on the rock. That's on right. The rock. On the rock. The rock of ages. Yes. Hallelujah. And the scripture said, verse 6, in my, I want you to read this one. Get your Bibles. You don't have your Bibles. If not, look to the screen. Now, verse 6, let's do it together. This is a triumphant victory of the church. Praise God. Come on. Verse 6. Starting with me. Ready? In my distress, I call upon the Lord and cry unto my God. He heard my voice out of the temple, and my cry came before him, even in the ears. Praise God. And verse 7. Put it on there real quick. Verse 7. Praise the Lord. Speak your name there. Bless the name of the Lord. Then the earth shook and trembled. The foundation of the hills and were shaken because of his wrath. He was wrath. Praise God. Did you know tonight? I feel like the earth is about to shake here right now. I feel like there's a trembling of the hills. Praise the name of the Lord. You know the need in your life. I'd minister the scriptures. I'd preach faith tonight. I've given you hope. I've talked to you. Church, I've talked to you. I, there was quite a bit of gospel while I was reaching for one part tonight. I also was preaching a lot of gospel 
to the church. To the church. Right. Yes. Oh, Absolutely. Yes. I'm going to see what you do with it. Oh, yes. yes, sir. Hallelujah. In the coming weeks, I'm going to see what this church does with what I said tonight. Yes. There's something wrong with the picture Thank you, Lord. when the church does not have the manifestation. Of the sons of God. Praise the name of the Lord. There's something wrong with the preacher. I never was a fella to back off from a fight. Never have been, never will be. Praise God. And the enemy wants to fight right now the gospel. He wants to make the church conform to the sins of this age. But I am going to give Satan a fight. Yes. And tell him yes, he cannot yes. move the rock That's right. that I'm standing on. Yes. Yes. He's my healer. He's my deliverer. Yes. He's my savior. Come on. Come on. Let's Come give on. the Lord a clap yes. Let's give him a clap yes. If you believe God for me, if you believe God for me, whatever there is that's troubling you in any way, God will deliver you. Yes. Yes. God will move. You want to take a step tonight? You, you, the children of God that are here, that are believers already, if you want to move from negative to positive, you come. And let God do what he does. I don't know what you're going to sing. I don't know what God song you're going to I want you to know, and I, I'm going to stand here, and elders can, uh, some can stand around me with me in prayer, and, and there can be some sisters, prayer warriors, and we're going to believe God. And, and nobody's coming back to you. Nobody's going to embarrass you. Nobody's going to touch you. When you've been in this church, you've been here a long time. You can be delivered. There is a rock. There is a fortress. There is. Praise God. God can change you from a non-manifesting person to a manifesting son of God. He can absolutely erase the negative. And he can move the positive in your life. You may be an elder, you may be a band member, you may be a choir member, you may be a dad, a mom. doesn't matter. The church needs to move back to the power of Pentecost. Yes. The power of Pentecost. Yes. What's wrong with Pentecost? Yes. Come on. Let the church yes. be the church. Praise God. When I bid Brother Kevin Joyce goodbye at the airport today, that man, I said, Brother Joyce, don't keep, don't sell that building at Tesson and Ferry. It's a marvelous place. It's a beautiful place. And I can see people in that place worshiping God. And someone said, but there's been trouble. You know, if the church will stop talking about the trouble, you, you spend too much of your time, friend, <coughs> dealing with the trouble. It's the victory. It's the victory. Judas is buried and hanged himself. But Jesus is alive. And well, praise God. I said, Brother Joyce, 35 acres of property right in the center of St. Louis. Except believe in me. Brother Rose and I had prayer with him. But the hundreds would come from the city of St. Louis and fill that place in the glory of God. Someone said, but Brother Marlow, the negative has been so apparent in our, in our society, in the church, and around us. And if you'll stop looking at the negative and start looking at the positive, Debbie, I don't care what they've said medically, I don't know what they've said. But this I know, and I haven't met you before tonight. I will not accept a word that's been given you that's negative. I will not accept a word that they've said to you that you have to be sick or ill or whatever. I believe that right here this night, the God that I serve. That's right. Amen. Amen. I tell you, you've got, you, 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 you got a miracle coming in your life. Amen. 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 And I believe. Yeah. Praise God. So God, I'm saying, go ahead and lift up song. I'm going to wait on you to come, and we're going to have prayer. And if you're too weak to stand, you can sit. 
I join this front pew. Or if you can stand with me, and I'm going to believe God for every need there is in this place. And there are needs here. There are needs here. Following this message, you don't have to be weak or afraid. You can have a rock, a fortress. You can have a defense in your life. You can have a manifestation of the sons of God. That's right. Praise the name of God. Touching Jesus is all that.